everyone! So in today's video, I've put together some clips from when I was not so good at filming. I shot these clips with my iPhone. I positioned them vertically as you can see. Sorry about that. But I love this painting so much that I really wanted you to see it. So please bear with me. I think you will still like seeing her come to life. So here we go. On the side, you can see the reference photo that I took. My model, Matilda, is awesome. She did a great job pretending to be kneeling on a large bubble. <laughs> and don't laugh, or do, at my duster wand. It's pretending to be a magical bubble wand. This painting is titled Amphrotrite. It's my depiction of the Greek goddess of the sea and wife to Poseidon. I love putting my spin on Greek mythology. It always leads me to a great story within my painting. Yeah, welcome to my channel, Shelley J. Cox Artist and SJC Sport Couture. This is where art meets fashion. Okay, here you can see how I found my reference pics for my wings. I really wanted them to look anatomically correct. This owl had the perfect wings for the painting composition. In Photoshop, I flipped him horizontally so the wings lined up to my figure. Also, I would refer to the anatomy picture from time to time so I knew exactly which row of feathers I was painting. Now, as you may know from a few of my other videos, I do not copy my reference photos too closely. They are there just to encourage my creativity. In the end, I'm the master of my painting. <laughs> I think maybe I should put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I used a blue underpainting, which is not usually recommended for figurative paintings. But I wanted my figure to look as if she were underwater, and perhaps in the sky, both at the same time. I think I bit off more than I could chew here. <laughs> I had quite the struggle with getting the skin tones painted. At first they were too saturated and orangey. Then after I desaturated them by adding some blue to the skin tone mixture, it became ruddy and dull. So it was a back and forth battle the whole way. I don't think I'll be using a blue underpainting again. Well, not without a really good reason. Hey, if you're liking this video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss seeing my upcoming videos. When you subscribe, you help me be able to keep producing videos and improving my channel. So I thank you for your support here. You are awesome. Okay, I've put in most of the flesh areas, but as I mentioned before, this was just the first pass at it. I went back over the flesh areas a few times before I was satisfied. Here I have finished painting in the background and have moved into the sailboat. I've never really painted the sea or sailboat, especially like this. I wanted it to look stormy. The idea is that Amphrotrite is either helping the boat to make its way through a storm or is it that she is steering the boat into stormy seas? I suppose it could go either way. But whichever scenario it is, I'm sure she has a very good reason for doing it. She is a goddess, but she is also an angel, a mer-angel that is, part mermaid and part angel. You may not know this, but mermaids are not really very nice. They are known in folklore to lure sailors with a beautiful song to the depths of the sea where they would drown them. Not really the typical little Disney mermaid story there. I enjoy painting an imaginative figure because anything goes really. As long as the lighting makes sense so that you can believe what you're seeing. It's all good. Okay, moving into the angel wings now. I looked at many pictures of Renaissance angels painted by the old masters to get a feel for how I wanted to paint my angel wings. I was very happy with how they turned out. I did a lot of pre-planning prior to starting my painting. Despite my preparations, I did struggle with this piece. I feel like it was one of those paintings that made me a better artist though. My technique and understanding of color and value have improved. It's also led me to seek out my art mentor Tina Garrett, with who I still work with today. I'll tell you more about finding my mentor in an upcoming video. So all in all, this painting was instrumental in moving me forward in my art journey. 
This is Matilda with the painting, and here's the final piece. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.